us so much. You don't have, you, you could give us more, but we don't really have to have it. It gives them what they need. You know, part of scouting is you're irreverent. As a scout, you're irreverent. You believe in God and country. Scouting is more than just, than just tying knots and, and putting up a tent. It's learning respect for others. And, you know, as they say in the Boy Scouts, a scout is reverent. Reverence is such a strong part of the scouting program. You learn respect for other religions, and you learn that other people will have respect for your beliefs. In many instances, uh, the teachings of the Buddhism and what it's taught in Boy Scouts goes hand in hand. It made me think of uh, what God really wants me to do and how he wants me to act, and that kind of helped me get closer to him. The scout oath, you know, makes a statement to God in my country. And so being able to really focus in on what is your duty to God. I think you've got Christianity, from my standpoint, pretty well encapsulated in that scout oath and in the scout law. That's the object of the religious awards, to teach you how to be with yourself, at the same time recognizing God is here to help you if you need it. This is not something we do uh, to the kids. This is something the kids do with us. We work together, we teach, we, we form a team, and we learn the principles that make a difference. Well, the Religious Emblems Award programs are ones that churches can use to really strengthen a young person's sense of their own congregation and their own faith community. I learned a lot about the church that I didn't know before. We offer an added incentive for the youth in scouting to learn more about their religion and in doing so become a larger part of their community. I have Catholics in my unit, I have Protestants, I've got Lutherans, I've got Baptists. Each religion has their own award and while our unit may be particularly on the Lutheran award, we make sure that the other churches, whether they be Methodist or whatever else, that they participate or they have the chance to participate in those groups. I think kids will like this program because you you get to learn a lot of stuff and have fun. It gives them a little bit of an incentive to sit down and talk about the faith. Um, and it gives us an excuse to sit down together and talk about it and share and have fun with it. The God and Country has helped our boys, I think, understand how they fit into the larger church community. We try to tell them, you know, uh, by word that by baptism they belong to our church. But now with the scouting program, we tell them that uh, you really do belong and you have a rightful place. They learn all the different parts of the worship, what they all mean and why that has been meaningful through the centuries. The church was founded by Richard and Sarah Allen and it started out of a, in a barn and he uh, taught off an anvil, which is the uh, AME logo. The only interface that kids have other than Sunday school or with their parents I think would be the scouting religious program. I homeschooled my children and this was also a way for me to incorporate religion into our curriculum. As they go through each level I think they attain something within themselves. It really made me think about my relationship mm -hmm. uh, with God and really made me evaluate it. You know he's got an outlet where he's expressing himself to the Lord, and that's important. One of the reasons we like especially the Cub Scout program is because it's something that the boys do with their families. Children will ask them questions about what does it really mean to be reverent at, at home? Do we observe Passover more strictly? Are we more tolerant of other religions? There are projects they can do within the congregation that, are, that they lay out and plan and they work with an adult and that whole sense of mentoring and an adult walking with them. Both the adult learns great things and the child does too. You have to do different kinds of assignments and make different kinds of things, crafts, like that. Just by doing the projects, I think that gives them the knowledge on what you're trying to teach as opposed to having like a big test at the end. You were able to see the, you know, your child answering the questions the way they do and knowing that something either you were doing or church was doing was getting to them. When they get the awards and to stand in front of the church and receive those awards, they are so excited. He got this gorgeous medal mm -hmm. and he thought that was everything. Yeah, there's a sense of pride there. 
uh, when they're out um, getting their award. Like presented me like I was like famous or something. You don't have to spend hours and hours preparing it. You can take it and do extra activities if you want, but it's a canned program. The leaders don't have to invest a lot of time uh, inventing something. They don't have to worry whether or not it's religiously correct or not. It's worked out. It really isn't that difficult to get it organized. Uh, you, need, you need the books, you need the parents, the, the, uh, the scouts, and a little bit of commitment, and then you just kind of set up a time, and we just start meeting, and we start planning events, and, and get, the, get the scouts involved, let them do a lot of the planning, let them kind of make a decision. The textbook helped me to relate the religion uh, at their level uh, more uh, um, broadly and deeply. And therefore, I found the uh, textbook very helpful. Uh, there's a book that they have from God and Country that walks them through what their faith means and what it, um, what it means to be part of a church and part of a community of faith. And I get to hear their words. I met with my pastor at New Providence, and he did the classes with me, and um, so he was my counselor. We would do the work there at home, and then we would go back to the minister, and then, you know, he would look over it and, you know, discuss things with him then. I think this is a way that some children who otherwise don't always get to go to church or Sunday school, this is the way, a way to bring um, God into their life. It was kind of fun. Uh, I think it's a tremendous opportunity just to ex expand and broaden their whole concept of what religious service is all about. Their understanding of the congregation's life goes beyond Sunday mornings. I think the experiences that uh, the scouts got and even that I got out of it was, was gratifying. It's also fun. But they are the future of our church. In years gone by, we called them when we had a Latin church. They were the spes gracious. They were the hope of the flock. God was long, God was dead, God was Asha, God was everybody in the whole world, baby.